If you are a love of Minister Dunsin Oyekan's songs, then I want you to draw close. So I came across a song of his on YouTube from his recent album, and I want us to analyze that song to help us sing it better with the understanding of the revelation behind every word we sing. Hello there, my name is Amechi Victor Okeke and this is Voice of Eden TV. So you would want to stick to this video till the very end so that we can have an extensive discussion about this song and then draw out the revelation behind every word in that song. Alright, so let's jump right into the song. The party is starting too early. Please, can you, can you welcome with me on stage? Minister Mercy Chiwa! Hear what just happened there? No, I don't think you are ready. If you are ready, you are supposed to release a shot. Everybody ready to cry? Lift your hands, everybody. So let's pause the song right here and just talk about the wordings of the song. I think the song has just um, four lines, all right? Forever and ever, our God, you are good. Who is on the Lord's side? As we raise our voice today, the enemies will bow. All right, so on this video, I'll be giving you three scriptures that will help you sing the song differently. Like after the scriptures, you will sing the song with a deep revelation of what every word or everything you are saying means in the spirit. All right, so the first scripture I want us to read is Psalm 136, verse one and he says give thanks to the lord for he is good his love endures forever so let's look at the first line of that song that says forever and ever our god is good or our god you are good this is it you need to understand that god is good irrespective of what is happening or what people say because one of the reasons why people say god is not good is because they are judging him based on what is happening to them or what they can see or what their understanding can grasp so you need to understand that beyond your reasoning beyond what you understand by good god surpasses that and this passage says give thanks to the lord for he is good he didn't say give thanks to the lord if he is good neither did it say give thanks to the lord when he is good it says give thanks to the lord for he is good there is no conditional clause to it there's no if he is good or when he is good it is because he is good give thanks to the lord for he is good and i need you to understand something he didn't say give thanks
thanks to the Lord for he is good to me. <laughs> it says give thanks to the Lord for he is good. So irrespective of how you feel or what you see around you or whether you think he's good or not because you are judging him from what is happening in your life or what is happening in the country, you need to know that God is good. And because he is good, you must give thanks to him. Jesus said, a man met Jesus and said, what good master, what do I do to have eternal life? And Jesus said, why collect thou me good? Only God is good. You see, the definition of what is good is God. I'll say that again. The only definition of what is good is God. Except a man represents God. Except a man portrays God. Except a man show you God. That thing he is doing may be considered good by man's own understanding or man's own interpretation. But it is only God that is called the good master. All right. So the scripture says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Our God is good. Our God is good. It doesn't matter what is happening in Nigeria. It doesn't matter what is happening in America. It doesn't matter what is happening in Europe. It doesn't matter what is happening in um, China or your village, wherever you're coming from, call the name of that village. It doesn't matter what is going on there. God is good. It's a stable thing. It's a constant. You know how you do physics and there are certain things that are constant. It's a constant that it doesn't change depending on the situation. No, forever he's good and you need to know that. I mean, forever is not till tomorrow. Forever is not as long as you are doing good. Forever is not as long as you pray every morning. Then the God is good or his love will endure that long. No, he, that is who he is. That's just who he is. And you have to note that. All right, so the second line says, who is on the Lord's side? All right, so the second passage we'll be reading is Joshua chapter 5 from verse 13 to 14. All right, so let me just read from here. It says, I am not on either side. So Joshua had an encounter where he was about going for war and he saw an angel with a sword and he went to him and said, are you on our side or are you on the enemy's side? All right, and the angel said to him, I am not on either side. He replied, I have come as the commander of the Lord's army. And then when he said that, Joshua fell to his face and worshipped him. So when we talk about sides, we're talking about a battle we're talking about separation and we're talking about consecration. So which side are you on? Which side are you on? I think most of us today would have to decide whose side we are on. So we may be singing this song and say, who is on the Lord's side? I am on the Lord's side. Let me say something. God, God is not on your side. Neither is he on the side of the enemy. We choose whose side we are going to be on. We either choose to be on God's side or the enemy's side. All right. So today I want you to make a choice. Moses said to the Israelites, choose ye whose side you are on. On today. So we need to choose whose side we are on today in your life, in your family, anything you need to choose. Sometimes we say we are for God, but the things we are already saying, they are enough proof that we are not on God's side. So we need to choose today whose side we are on. Like I said, when we talk about side, we're talking about battle, consecration, and separation. Some of you, the Lord is separating you from what you have always known. The Lord is separating you from the people you call your friend. You need to go on the Lord's side. Sometimes we get on a course and expect God to come on our side. When we need to find out where is God standing in this and go to his side. And I think a lot of us, we have to do that in this forthcoming election. We don't have to make God come to our side or bribe God to support what we are supporting. Find out what God is supporting and stand on that side. Find out whose God's hand is upon and follow that man. That's how you choose God's side. All right, what is God saying about your health? What is God saying about your business? Find out what God is saying about your marriage. Find out what God is saying about your business. Find out what he's saying about your education. That's his side and go to that side. Affirm it. Speak words to confirm that you are on the side of God, not on the other side. So you don't, you, you don't just say, I am on the Lord's side. Yet you don't know which side God is standing. You don't even know where he is. So you need to do that. We are always on the battle. Like I said to a friend, tell them we are always fighting a battle, but you need to choose whose side you are on. In fact, you can't even stay on the fence in this battle. You can't. You have to choose which side you are on. All right, so the third lyrics of this song says, as we raise our praise today, the enemy will bow. Let's look at Psalm 118 from verse 15 to 25. Of course, I won't read that. I won't read to 25, but you should do that on your own. And it says that the shouts of joy and victory resound in the tent of the righteous. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. One of the most amazing things about a Christian battle is that your voice, your mouth, your words are powerful weapon of warfare and you need to understand that. Someone said that the devil cannot stop me now. He should have done that when I couldn't talk, when I couldn't pray. But now that I can talk, 
talk. Now that I can pray, ah, he can't stop me. So you need to understand that in a shout is your weapon. Sometimes why the enemy sends so much pain, so much trouble along our way is so we can be quiet. No, we shouldn't do that. Understand that in your words is power. The Bible says by your words shall you be justified and by the same word shall you be condemned. So if you say I am sick, you are right because by your words you will be justified and by the same word you will be condemned. If you say I am poor, I am broke, you are right. If you say I am stupid, you are right. But if you say I am brilliant, guess what? You are also right. If you say I am rich, you are right. If you say I'm healthy, you are right. So he says the shout of joy and victory resound. Joy cannot be quiet. Joy has a sound. Victory has a sound. Sometimes you may be losing, but get up and shout then you would win that fight. So he says that the, as we raise our voice, as we raise our praise today, the enemy will bow. So the enemy is waiting. He would keep tormenting you until you start speaking. You see, start speaking. Speak over things. Speak over your home. Speak over your family. Speak over your environment. Speak over the things. Don't just sit down and hope things would happen. No. Like I said, the Bible says by your own words will you be justified and by your own words will you be condemned. So what do you choose to say today? Do you choose to speak victory or do you choose to speak defeat? All right. So thank you guys. Thank you guys. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if this is your first time and drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this song because I particularly think this song is very important right now to Nigeria as a country because we have, I mean, you, you need to even go to the ATM and see how chaotic things can be. But I think right now is a time where we need to raise a sound, right? Where we need to understand that God is good because it is from that understanding that we tap into the goodness of God. If we are judging God as a God that is not good, we can't even have or receive the goodness of God. So if we start saying God is good and if we find out the side where he is on and stand on that side and then from there shout the shout of victory, we will defeat everything. Everything the enemy is, is sending our way and Nigeria will stand up tall again. So I want you to sing this song differently. I want you to understand that whenever you say forever, God is good. The enemy may try to remind you that God is not good to you. No, no. The Bible didn't say, give thanks to the Lord for he is good to me. No, it says, give thanks to the Lord because he is good. And then you need to find out where God is and go to his side. Don't try to bring God to your own side, all right? And try to make things look like, ah, God, please come and bless this thing I'm doing. No, find out what God wants you to do and do it because it is already blessed. You don't even need him to speak blessings over it again. And thirdly, you need to always put a shout of victory wherever you find yourself raise a sound of victory and the enemy will surely bow all right guys thank you like i said subscribe and drop a comment let me know what you think about this song and let's enjoy the song Just in case you need to find the song on Boomplay. So just go to, in case you don't have Boomplay on your phone. But if you do, just go to the app and open the app. But I'll be doing this from my system. So you search for Boomplay and hit on enter. And then this will come up. So you look for Boomplay, www.boomplay.com. See download music on Boomplay. So just open this. And this is what you would see. This is the interface. All right. So this is, this is not what we're looking for. So you just go up to the search button right here, click on search and type don't seen or oh, yeah, can and hit on enter or you just click on it there. So these are his songs. All right. But we don't, I'm not, I don't want us to listen to all of this song, but you can, if that's what you're looking for. So this is the album here. Um, the birth of revival. Yeah, this is the album. So click on it. And then these are the songs. The song we just listened to is on number six. I mean, this out, you need to listen to the entire song. All right. So let's look at number six. You just hit on play, you tap, and then the song begins to play 